Welcome, 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 welcome back to my channel. It is me, it is I, it is she, it is her, it is thee, it is who? It is Rosie Rosette, Rosie Rosette, Rosie Rosette, Rosie Rosette, Rosie Rosette, Rosie Rosette, Oh, you see that scar? Rosie Rosette 2020. How are you guys doing? Who is it? Is Rosie Rosette 2020? Pow. Mm. So, it's this brother, right? Let me get to this page. Okay. Yeah. It's this brother at my best 197. All right on um instagram uh, he's into real estate you know my stepfather is into real estate i literally grew up on in uh, real estate oh happy um october okay happy october but anyway ah my arm. um he's really into uh really into inner um real estate and okay so i'm checking her wait let me turn this down because see um, so he's really into, uh, real estate. So, you know, I like to see him from time to time. Let me see. At my best, 197. I don't understand that title, but okay. Okay. Yeah. At my best, 190. Okay. So, he's really in. Okay. So, listen, listen. This is regarding PPP loans. All right. Okay. Listen. So, about a week or so ago, I did a video about the PPP police is coming. <laughs> and it's, it's been going around like crazy. And then I've also been getting a lot of comments from people. <laughs> and I also said in the video I can't that it. people that look like me, people that look like us, for whatever reason, we're the ones that's being exploited and being plastered all over the TV as the fake the poster child of the ppp fraud and that i told people to be very careful and i even had people getting at me and basically saying to me that i was hating on people that was getting it how they live frauding for the ppp loan okay. so i want to read you guys a message that somebody sent me about what the ppp police is doing to him so check this out on the same video that I showed you that I posted up on September 16th, I received a message from this brother, ABL underscore enterprise underscore INC. I'm going to read this to you guys real quick, just so you guys, and you guys could go to it and check what he said. He says, I hear what you're saying. I just got sentenced to 56 months in federal prison months. for the PPP loans. 56 months. This brother, if you read through it, he says, I did not take any paperwork into the bank or get any money from the bank. But since they gave me a kickback, the people that he was helping, that was illegal. The government got all the money back except for maybe $100,000 because they froze all of those guys' accounts and froze my account. I have been in business for 13 years in which the government went over with a fine tooth comb, couldn't find any paperwork out of line because they thought my original PPP loan was also a fake. The, his, my attorney gave the judge similar cases where people took more money and got lesser time. <laughs> One white guy took $900,000 basically the same amount of money they gave him over 60 days in jail. So this white man got the same amount of money as this brother, and yet they <laughs> gave the brother much more time. They gave the white guy 60 days in jail, while this brother has to do 50, 56 months in prison for this. They charged me with $960,000 in which I am responsible for everybody's loan. I didn't spend one dime of the money, but I did give cashier's checks they gave me back, yada, yada, yada. This brother also goes to explain that he has to pay $200,000. They, excuse me, they froze $200,000 of his own money and that this system isn't fair and are coming for everybody that defrauded for this PPP loans. He's being, he has to turn himself in October 7th of this year. So instead of paying attention to the message that I was trying to put out, people were thinking that maybe I was trying to hate on me, that I, that, yo, people got to do what they got to do. Listen, they're not playing fair when it comes to people like us, because this brother has to do 50, 50 something months in prison, federal prison, where a person of a Caucasian counterpart did the same exact thing and he's doing 60 
days in prison, all right, in federal prison, all right, so this is why I tell you guys, I know a lot of people, y'all, that went out here and got these PPP loans, a lot of people, and a lot of you guys lived it up for the last year or so, good luck to you guys, man, good luck, because tax season is coming, you're going to have to file paperwork for this money that you got. You're going to have to sign affidavits for all this paperwork that you got. And the PPP police is coming, y'all. The PPP police is coming. So go back to that video that I did. Go through the comments and go and check this brother out. Show this brother some love. Show him some love and, 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 and encouragement because he's going to be doing a number of years for literally not even benefiting from any of the money he just hooked his boys up and his friends up to show them what to do and could you imagine what's going to happen to the people that he helped out and what's going to happen to them the ppp police is coming people the ppp police is coming and they're not playing fair for people that looks like me all right so watch yourself out here y'all watch yourself at my best 197 learn this game and learn how to do it right I'm talking about real estate. Learn how to get into the real estate game and work and do the, the business legally so that you don't have these type of problems, man. At my best one. At my best. So, there you have it. I never touched PPP. Because, you know, ain't nothing for free. Now, the stimulus they gave to everyone, right? But no, no, that wasn't enough for y'all. Y'all wanted to ball, you know. And I went to the Gucci, on the Gucci store in um in Vegas. I went in March, and then I didn't even go in June. It was a line out the door, a line. I never, ever seen lines out of no store up until the pandemic. And you know why? Because people were scamming on those PPP loans buying cars, buying houses, mm-mm, mm-mm, it ain't worth it, no, 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 it, it's just, it's, it's not worth it, um, you know, no, no, I, I, I'm not knocking nobody's hustle now, y'all, if y'all know me, okay, if you really know me, you know, I don't knock people's hustles, you get it any way you can, hey, but if you do the crime, you gotta do the time, that's all I'm saying, if you do the crime, you must do the time, you know, hell, I might fall off and, you know, I might do a crime and I might have to do the time. Now, but was the PPP loans, was that criminal? If you filled out the paperwork and did it, you know, in a truthful manner, if you have five employees, okay, fine. And you made X amount of money, okay, fine. But this girl, she did a video. And she said that, you know, her cousin, so she might be going to jail too because on her video, she was helping people figure out how to do it. And actually this guy, thank God, on Facebook, he was helping people out. And, you know, there was a lot of scams going on. So then he was like, you know, I can get you, get you some money for PPP loan. And I was like, no, that's right. And then he kind of was a little aggressive. I was like, no, that's okay. Because I didn't know if he was trying to get at me or whatever. Anyway, <clears throat> the girl doing a YouTube video, she was like, her cousin got $20,000. And I was like, well, how did your cousin get twenty? dollars What was she doing? And I think she said she was doing Georgia. So I was our Uber or something like that. I was like, well, in order for her to have gotten a hundred thousand dollars i mean twenty thousand dollars that means that she made a hundred thousand dollars she said no she made thirty nine thousand or twenty six thousand or fourteen thousand i think it was twelve thousand. i said well how did you get twenty thousand how did she get twenty thousand from a twelve or let's just say twenty six thousand dollar a year you know get how, how did that happen literally i was a about to fill out the application. Wait a minute. Did I fill out an application? I did. I did. You know what? I did fill out the application, but it was honest. It was honest. It was what? It wasn't it was nothing near the 100000 I did fill it out, but I guess, thankfully, they ran out of cash. Mm -hmm. They ran out of cash, so I didn't get nussed. But I did it honestly. I think I would have got like 
1200 or yeah 800 <coughs> but they ran out of cash you know what i'm saying how these people were getting 20,000 50,000 100,000 a couple of million all to flaw so you're going to do some illegal stuff and then get the money and then floss so other people can see it even though everybody know how you got it okay even though everybody knows how you got it but you want to floss okay because flossing is more important than your freedom hey if you got it like that go ahead if you got it like that where you can floss instead of being free then go right ahead if you feel it's that important to you know get that gucci gear so that you could you know floss and be this and be that and you know woof woof you know drive that foreign and buy i think i saw so one woman <laughs> they went to her house it was a nice beautiful it wasn't a mini mansion but it was like maybe it, it looked like it could have been about 33,000 square feet it was a nice home in texas listen there's so many people in texas that's flossing i'm like it must be nice it ain't worth it it ain't worth it just like with me with, with my relationship status it ain't worth it to me to be in a relationship have some fool do some crazy stuff and then with my temper uh, it, it, it ain't worth it i like my freedom same thing with um these ppp loans i like my freedom you know it's good to have a little change but it i am i'm not trying to i'm not trying to do nothing strange for a little extra change no no i ain't got no problem being broke being broke gonna stay broke with it i got a goodwill goodwill ain't going nowhere dollar store right down the street i'm good i didn't did, you know i traveled i partied I, honey all i need to do is just you know focus on my health and figure out you know what am i gonna do in my retirement years i I I travel, you know. I did my little part. I, I never was a club person, you know. I I don't really have to be in people's faces. I'm I'm talking about in person, you know what I'm saying. I don't have to hit every party, every event. I don't want to be common. Mm -mm, it ain't nothing. I don't want to be common, you know what I'm saying. You go to club. Oh yeah, she here. She here every week. Ah, this um, woman by the name of Judy. Judy told me that. Judy Bailey. Um, anyway, I was dating her son. Um, anyway, she was like, you don't want to be common. Mm -mm. You know, be unique. Be, be special. You don't like when you go somewhere or whatever. Huh? So I guess they were being special by, you know, the Gucci gear and the houses. Yeah, that house that that woman had was really nice. You know, the cars, the wigs. You know, girl, I get so many people talking about my wigs. Listen, I'm not paying $700 for a wig. No, I don't need to do PPP. I'm not trying to do nothing fraudulent so that I can look a certain way for you. No. If this wig, if this wig is good for me, then guess what? It better be good for you. And if, if it's not, that's okay. That's okay. Just like I was talking about Rihanna teeth. Listen, she's a billionaire. If them teeth is good enough for her, then fine. Because they ain't got to be good enough for me. They're not my teeth. I'm just thinking, you know, you got a billion dollars. You could get some whitener or some veneer or something. But you know what? Those are not my teeth. You see what I'm saying? They're not my teeth. But these PPP loans, listen. Mm -mm. And then, so the brother does the same thing as the white guy, but the brother gets 56 months. What is that? Six years or something like that? A little under six years? And the white guy gets 60 days? You see what I'm saying? Nah. Nah. You see how our government plays us as black folks? Yes, I am black. I am black. I'm black, black. Mama was black. Daddy's black, okay? Do I got a little white in me? Yeah, I do. I do. I mean, shit, I do. <laughs> But I'm not white. I'm black. Okay? Not Puerto Rican. Not Dominican. Not Moroccan. I'm black. Black, black. Okay? Take off this wig. You'll see black, black. Black, black, man. Anyway. Oh, that's another video I gotta do. Well, you know what? Good luck to y'all. Have fun. Don't drop the soap. That's all I gotta say. Bye.